क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीडियो वी आर विथ चैप्टर फाइव ऑफ माइक्रो इंजीनियरिंग द चैप्टर इज टाइटल एवलांज ट्रांजिट टाइम डिवाइसिस एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर वी हैव गॉन थ्रू अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ वॉट एग्जैक्टली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द ट्रांजिट टाइम इज देन द एवलांज ट्रांजिट टाइम एंड देन इन दिस फैमिली वी आर कवर्ड विथ रीड डायोड एंड इम्पैक्ट डायोड सो बेस्ड ऑन टू द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ इम्पैक्ट डायोड वर्किंग ऑपरेशन लेट अस सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम so here we are provided with the problem statement as per the problem statement we have an impact diode that has following parameters the parameters are carrier drift velocity that is denoted as v sub x d the value is 2 into 10 to the power 7 cm per second the next parameter is drift region length the length always represented here by capital l so this is equal to 6 micrometers maximum operating voltage that has been represented as v max the value is provided 100 volts whereas the maximum operating current on the another hand represented i max is equal to 200 milliampere efficiency eta is equal to 15% the breakdown voltage represented as v sub x bd is equal to 90 volts we are asked to make computations for the maximum cw output power in terms of watts here and in the last portion we require to calculate the resonant frequency in terms of gigahertz now to read the problem statement the many parameters are given with the values so very first of all we note down the given details so here we have the drift velocity vd the value we have that is 2 into 10 to the power 7 cm per second we can also get it converted to 2 into 10 to the power 7 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter per second thus we can write it as 2 into 10 to the power plus 5 meters per second the next value is of drift length l is represented as 6 micrometer that can be expressed as 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 meters here now the maximum operating voltage v max or v sub x 0 max can also be denoted for this particular parameter and the value is simply 100 volts the next value is of the maximum operating current that can also be represented as i sub x 0 max and the value here it is 200 milliamperes so this we can represent 200 into 10 to the power minus 3 amperes so as it can be denoted as 2 into 10 to the power plus 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 amperes we can simply denote i0 max as 2 into 10 to the power minus 1 amperes here the efficiency eta is given in terms of percentage and it is 15% so simply efficiency can also be written as 0.15 also finally the breakdown voltage is denoted by v sub x bd here so this can be given as 90 volts to us so here for computation of answer in part a we express the continuous wave output power as capital p and it can be simply computed using the efficiency value so eta in multiplication to the input power the input power is in the terms of dc therefore we express p sub x dc here further the efficiency eta into pdc can be expressed in the product of the voltage and current provided to us here we can express it as v0 sub x max into i0 sub x max value therefore the efficiency simply it is 0.15 as given into the v0 max is of 100 volts and i0 max is 200 milliamperes that we can express it as 2 into 10 to the power minus 1 here 
So substituted the three parameters here, we can make a simple multiplication of the three. So the multiplication of the three results into the value three here. So as this is the output power, power is always measured in terms of watts. So I provide the SI system of units, watts here and outline the value. So this was the problem statement. We were required to calculate the maximum continuous wave output power using the maximum amount of voltage and maximum amount of current provided. We have been calculated the maximum continuous wave output power in terms of watts. Now we require the calculation of resonant frequency in terms of gigahertz. For the impact diode in the part B, the resonant frequency can be expressed as small f in terms of the drift velocity denoted by V suffix D and the length of the device. So in the denominator we have 2 into capital L here. Now we substitute the values of the capital L and the drift velocity. The drift velocity is given to us as 2 into 10 to power phi u we put in the SI systems divided by 2 into the device length we substitute in the form 6 into 10 to power minus 6. So micrometer has been converted to meters. Finally, the resonant frequency f is obtained as 16.67 into 10 to power 9. So basically, the SI system of units is hertz for the frequency. Therefore, absorbing 10 to power 9 along with the hertz, we get it to the form resonant frequency f is equal to 16.67 gigahertz here. I outline this particular value. So with this answer, we are covered with problem number one based on to the impact diode. By the next lecture, we shall be addressing the second problem on the same device impact diode. I hope you are definitely practicing the details of microwave engineering problems we share with you. For more information like this, you can subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you.